Hey world, I'm Josh. I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Coffee edition. Coffee morning edition. Today we've got the A.B. Tareem or Ab Tareem from Steadfast Coffee Roasters in Nashville slash Franklin, Tennessee. The roastery I think is in Franklin, Tennessee. The coffee shop is in Nashville. Seems like a cool place that I'd like to check out if I was ever down there. They have some like interesting rested coffee milk drinks, they call them. I think that's what they're called. Uh, this one's from Tanzania and it says 90% small holder farms and has some of the more interesting tasting notes I've ever read. Blue raspberry, creme fraiche, and dried apricot or apricot depending on how uppity you are. Beans smell like, they smell like African beans to me, like a lot of the other African varieties, and uh, the roast doesn't seem exceptionally light, but not dark, somewhere in the middle, medium type roast, there's the beans, and what do you think, Lauren, how's it taste? It's really dark. Really dark tasting? Yeah. Okay. It's really on the bitter side. Okay. Like, in comparison to, is it like Starbucks dark or is it like... No, but close. Okay. Let's see. It doesn't smell like it's going to taste terribly like a dark roast. It... I, I, I could, in a weird way, I could associate that smell with blue raspberry but I don't think I would have ever made the connection. Like, oh man, I can't smell anything. <sighs> Without the wording, I never ever would make that connection. But if I'm hunting for it, it kind of smells like a blue raz uh, blow pop off in the distance or something. Like, and even a little bit like sour cream, cream fresh. I mean, the smell, I like you gotta really hunt for it, but and I never ever ever would have made the connection. But I guess I get what they're saying. So it is pretty bitter on the back end. It, re it really is. Maybe th that might be on me. I don't know. I brew this the same way. I've always brewed everything in the Chemex. I'm not really getting any of the tasting notes with this one. No, neither am I. Um, every time I look down, I'm thinking about what I'm tasting. I gotta knock that off. Um, it's sweeter in the front, but it gets bitter pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is, um, and maybe it's, maybe I just need it to cool down some more. Yeah, it seems like it would be different as it cools. This is one for your parents, I think. This is, this, like, I don't love it, but I think this would appeal to a lot of people. I like sissy, weird, fruity coffees, which is not what people want from coffee, I don't think. Yeah, this one isn't really for me either, but I know some people who would like it. Well, I just took a big gulp there and it's cooled down a little bit and it did improve with that drink for me. It's mellowing after you get through the first couple of harsh drinks. Mm hmm So, I don't, that happens a lot. I really... I might be getting the apricot now that things have cooled down. Coffee, they give it to you awfully hot and I'm trying to hurry because I need to get to work, but... It does get so much better as it cools down. I think I, I talked to, uh, I think it's Seth or Sean Mills from Misto Box. Um, he says he waits eight minutes to drink coffee after he brews it. Hmm. And I think that's good advice because every time these coffees get better as they cool a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know. This is because it's getting a heck of a lot better. Don't drink this. If you ever... Get the Ab Tareem or A B Tareem. How would you say that? Tareem? 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 Tareem. Uh, 
Do you ever get, if you're ever in Nashville or you're from Nashville and you're at Steadfast and you get this coffee as a pour over, let it cool down for five, ten minutes. It gets a heck of a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, don't drink it right away because it comes off really bitter. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad we kept this video dragging on because it's way more fair. It gets way better. Um, and that's it. Uh, it becomes a very drinkable coffee. Do you agree or did it remain bad for you? No, it really got better. I'm waiting for mine to cool a little bit more because it's so... I have a, my giant cup. Everything is really warm. Yes, yeah. giant camp mug. Uh, yeah. So there you go. Uh, I thought it was overly bitter and not tasty, but as it cooled, it became very drinkable. It definitely gets better. So, I now like it. I just had to remember to, to uh, wait to drink that one. So, thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. In the comments below. And subscribe, please. We're trying to get to 500 at some point. I think that'd be cool. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.